Did you know that average house price in Canada in 2024 has surged to up to over $700,000? That is more than double what it was a decade ago. And it's not just housing. Everything from groceries to gas is becoming unaffordable. What the hell is going on here? As an immigrant who came to Canada in search of a better life, I can tell you that this country has always been seen as a land of opportunity. But recently, something has changed. The Canada that was once affordable and welcoming is now facing a crisis that threatens to make it unlivable for many, including immigrants like me. Let's dive into this issue. The most glaring problem skyrocketing housing prices. Whether you are in Toronto, Vancouver, Calgary, or similar bigger cities, the cost of owning a home is almost out of reach for most people. Even to rent is unaffordable right now. A one-bedroom apartment in a major city is over $2,600 a month. And it's not just housing. Inflation is driving up the cost of food, utilities, and everyday basic essentials. The cost of living is increasing so rapidly that even a dual income household is struggling to make ends meet. Now, let's break it down. Why is this really happening? First, government policies play a huge role. While Canada's immigration policies are praised globally, the rapid influx of newcomers is putting a lot of pressure on the local housing market. For instance, in 2023 alone, Canada welcomed around half a million new immigrants. While this is great for diversity and the economy, it also means more competition in finding a right place to live and securing a right job. Second, low interest rates over the past few years have encouraged borrowing, which led to housing boom. But now, the interest rates are rising to combat inflation, the same homeowners are now facing ballooning mortgage payments, creating a potential housing bubble. Number three, the economic shifts that we have seen, like the move towards remote work, have also impacted real estate. Cities that were once affordable are now seeing a surge in demand as people move away from expensive urban centers. But even those smaller towns are no longer safe havens. They are also following the bigger cities and becoming unaffordable. As an immigrant, this is very frustrating. You come here to build a better life, but when basic necessities becomes a luxury, it forces us to question our decision. We are seeing a huge shift in how people perceive Canada. What was once a place to start a new life is now becoming a place we were even surviving with hard. Before we go any further, please like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. Subscribing to my channel is not going to cost you anything, but it helps me big time. Now back to our topic. Let me share a story with you. I recently spoke to a fellow immigrant family who moved to Canada from India around five years ago. They moved here with the hope of owning a home and securing quality education for their kids and living the Canadian dream. But today, unfortunately, they find themselves struggling to make ends meet. Despite both parents are working full time, they can't afford to buy a house. Their rent doubled in last 18 months, they are worried about their kids' future. Again, this is not an isolated case. This is happening to a lot of people, whether they are immigrants or even non-immigrants. People who were born and raised Canadians are also facing similar challenges because of this huge influx that is coming into Canada. And Canada as a country is not ready to handle that kind of influx of new families. Honestly, it's not just about finances either. The stress of trying to keep up with the rising cost is taking its own toll on everyone's mental health. Families are making tough choices, or families are forced to make tough choices. Do they cut back on food? Do they cut back on entertainment? This isn't what an immigrant signed up for when they choose Canada. Imagine being in a country that promises to give you everything, but when you get here, you realize that even basics are slipping out of reach. The emotional toll is immense and it's causing many to reconsider their decision to move to Canada, which on its own is not good for Canada in the longer run, but that's a topic for a different video. So let's recap on what we talked about today. Inflation and economic shifts are making Canada unaffordable for many, especially immigrants. The Canada we knew is changing and not for better. As an immigrant, this reality is deeply concerning. But while it's easy to feel hopeless, understanding these issues is the first step towards change. We need to start conversations about how we address these challenges. Whether it's a tough policy change, community support, 
or personal decisions. We cannot let Canada's affordability destroy the dream that brought us here in the first place. We need to work together to make Canada what it used to be, land of hope, land of opportunities, a dream life for a lot of immigrants. We need to work towards making Canada that kind of country again. And it's no one man's job to do this. We as a society need to come in together and work towards the betterment of our country. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think is happening in Canada? What do you think of these housing crises? How do you think that the government can make better decisions to make things better? Whether it's an immigration policy change, whether it's uh, a cap on inflation. Tell me in the comment section how you are looking at this and how this is impacting you at a personal level. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share this video with as many people as you possibly can. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much once again and I'll see you in my next video.